Okay, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings the Third Age playthrough. And if you've been following the playthrough so far, you'll know that we've completed Minas Tirith in the main story. And we're now going to tackle it in evil mode. This is not the first time that I've recorded this opening. This is the second time that I've recorded it. And this will be the third time that I'm going into this evil mode. Because there is an absolute asshole of a battle in here. To the point where I got Wombo comboed before really taking a turn. On both occasions. And it ain't this one, by the way. If that they're immune to stun, it should kill him. If it didn't miss. Maybe immune. Not bad. Not bad damage. It's a really weird move to make. So the first two battles aren't difficult. If I could hit the bloody thing, that is. Oh, he's got friends here as well. Just to drag it out even further. Right. Third time's a charm. Thank you. When you could one hit him anyway. Good God. All right, next battle. Again, not particularly difficult. That's quite a high delay move. Second time round, he um, put stun resistance on. Which is glorious, but that's the name of the game is to stun them. So you're not going to worry too much about uh, Elgust, to be honest. He's put such a delay on himself that I can go through his other team. Right, here we go. No, not again. So we get water stallioned. Excellent. Now, Hadhog is the arsehole. But we're going to put him to sleep. And we'll start going left, well, right to left here. Leave him till last. You can heal, it's fine. No, not to him. This horse shit. But I think we should get it. Oh, 
Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, I've had him use Berserk. Aired him, come in with his six hit combo, killed one. She had Water Stallions, and I was basically dead. Right, so now we've got the Ring Wraith, or the Wraith King. Let's take out Berathor here. One hit kill. Drain health, not a lot. Bolt of the Valor. How much are you doing? A lot. Shit in hell. Nine. It's not a lot. Don't miss. Kill him. Christ for that. As long as he doesn't true shot me. My God. Just going to keep consuming life here. What an absolute asshole of a... of a battle. I think I've got lucky with the previous battle and this one. If he'd used Bolt of the Valor more, I'd have been dead. But then I did miss. Right, let's just kill him. Adhog, Second Age Mithril Dwarf and Warhammer. Airden, Second Age Golden Glaive of Aragon. Airden, Second Age Steel Glaive of the High King. Erethor, Numorian Dark Battle Plate Ford. Morin has got a Second Age Easterling Steel Piercing Axe. And a Numorian Wool Shadow Cloak, cloak for Berathor. Good rewards. Asshole of a, of a battle. And we want it to go into Pelennor Fields. We'll go and take a look to see what they're like as per normal. Let's just get copyrighted because it doesn't matter. Every video barring two has been. Man, that was just incredibly, incredibly arsehole -y. 
Right, so Berathor. Got strength down one, but everything else is up. And your cloak. HP down slightly, but armor's up. Okay, didn't really see the difference. You've got a war hammer. 220 by 23. That's a lot better. You've got a piercing axe, 108. Very much better. Your glaive's just better. And to twenty twenty five. That's just better. The golden glaive. Why don't give me two glaives? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. But yep, that is evil mode of Minas Tirith done. Absolute arsehole of a of a one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, again, going to have a quick pause, uh, have some drinks, uh, and then we'll push on and complete the game because this is the last zone. So thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It really does help me out. And I will see you for the final stretch. And you'll see me in the next one.